Hello, welcome to this video by Process Parameters, the UK distributor for Optris. The aim of this video is to provide a brief introduction to the PI Connect software supplied free with all Optris thermal imaging cameras. The first thing you will notice is the main graphical area which displays temperature in the form of colour. In this case I am using a video of a computer processor. In the center is a rectangular box labeled area one. This is what we call a measuring area or others call it an area of interest. And I'll explain these in more detail in a future video. The temperature display at the top, top right of the graphics display is showing in this case, the maximum temperature within area one signified by the arrow pointing up. This is configurable and again will be explained further later on. Along the bottom of the graphical area we have the video playback controls. Here we can pause the video, restart it, or if we pause it we can then shuffle through the video frame by frame or step forward in larger steps or we can simply jump to the end or back to the beginning of the video. At the moment, the video is on a constant loop playing or infinite playing, but again, we can turn this off or on as we see fit. And we can also trim the video so we only play back the air part of the video that we're really interested in. And we use these uh, place markers on the bottom of the bar to reduce the amount of video that we're seeing. And then by clicking this button here, play selection only, we only play the part of the video between these two markers. Below the video playback controls, we have the temperature scaling controls. These controls allow us to change the way colors represent temperature on the screen and allow us to range the display according to our application. At the left hand side of the bar, we have four buttons which allow us to change the range of the temperature shown on the display. The first button is labeled manual which gives us full control over the temperature range that we have on display. To adjust the temperature range, we use this scroll bar here. You'll see that the scroll bar is, is split into three separate segments, a left-hand end, a middle, and a right-hand end, and with the dividing line at either end. By clicking and dragging on the right-hand end, we can adjust the upper end of the temperature scale. And by clicking on the left hand end and dragging, we can adjust the lower end of the temperature scale. If we click and drag in the middle, we move, simply move the scale up and down without actually adjusting the span. As the scale is changed, the numbers on the reference bar also adjust. The next button in the sequence is our max min scaling. So this quite simply chooses the minimum and maximum pixel on the screen and ranges accordingly. So you can see this is an automatic scaling and as the processor in the video is heating up the scale is changing accordingly. The other two um, buttons labeled one sigma and three sigma, are statistical methods of scaling the display um, based on one standard deviation and three standard deviations of the temperature range on display. With these three methods of ranging, you'll notice that the temperature scaling adjusts automatically depending on what is on the screen. And in some applications, this may be undesirable. So for example, if I click back to um, max and min mode, you'll see that as the chip processor is heating up, the colors aren't actually changing that much. But if we flick back to manual mode and adjust our scale accordingly, 
we can get much greater definition on the screen and we can see much finer detail on the processor with these small components here highlighted as getting hotter. OK, the next area of the screen to consider is our temperature profile graphs. So at the bottom of the screen here we have one graph and at the right hand side we have a second graph. Now these relate to temperature measurement across a line of pixels on the screen. Now they are currently aren't visible so what I'll do is I'll turn those on and hopefully that will make things a little bit clearer. Okay, so now on the graphical area, we have a vertical line and a horizontal line, and these relate to the vertical temperature profile graph on the right and the horizontal temperature profile graph at the bottom. These temperature profile lines are completely configurable, and we can just simply move them around by clicking and dragging the placeholder at the end of each line. So for example, we can position the vertical profile here and you'll notice it doesn't have to be exactly ver vertical and we can position the horizontal profile like so and the graphs now adjust automatically to the te temperatures along those lines of pixels so for example the connection legs here on the chip are represented by the peaks and troughs on the graph and we can see the temperature variation across the whole line. The next area to, to look at on the screen is the histogram and this shows the distribution of temperature in the graphical area. This can be configured for the whole screen or we can, can configure it for just a measuring area. So we can do this in the configuration menu histogram and then select a measuring area here and click OK and now we're purely looking at the, sim sim the, the single area in the center. The red line relates to the temperature of the cursor on the display so as I move the cursor around we can see the temperature represented by the red line on, on the histogram. Finally on the main screen we have the digital display group at the top right hand corner of the screen and this is where we can provide temperature measurements from various measuring areas and this will again be expanded upon in a future video. There are plenty of other simple things we can do to change the data we are looking at. For example the standard color palette may not be giving you the definition that you need in your application but it is very easy to change. We have two buttons on the menu bar which allow us to cycle through the palettes as follows. There may be occasions where you only want to see the main graphical area and again we can go to a full screen view very easily by clicking on this button here. This obviously gives much greater uh, definition of what you're uh, seeing um, but if you need to return back to the main menu simply press the escape key. I hope this video has been useful and has given a brief introduction to the Optris PI Connect software. There are many more features that will be covered in more detail in future videos. If you have any questions not covered here, then please do not hesitate to contact us. Details will be shown at the end. Thank you for watching.